Hi guys, and welcome back to Winsome Cottage Garden. My name is Hannah, and I'm so glad that you were able to join me today. It's been about a week since I last filmed. Uh, it's been very, very rainy here. Um, and on the days it hasn't been raining, I've been really busy. So I have not been able to get a lot of stuff in the yard done, which actually has me bummed because I have a lot of stuff that needs to be done. So I have about an hour and a half or so tonight that I thought that I would take you along as I get a couple of key projects done. I have two things that I really would love to accomplish. Um, the first of which being I want to pull up the ranunculus that have uh, they're spent the corms need to be pulled out and kind of dusted off and then put somewhere to dry for a little bit before I store them for next year so that's my first goal get the corn ranunculus done my second goal is to do some um, pruning and tying up of some tomatoes I've done a good chunk sorry I'm being eaten by something I have done a good chunk of them but the beds that are the two square beds that are inside my perennial garden have not been done and they really need to so the goal is to get those definitely done and then check the other stuff which has been tied up since I've been back from vacation it just hasn't been fully it's just been a couple days a week or so since then I usually like to check them every couple days I will see what I can get done it is a little you can kind of see it gray um, it is not supposed to rain but sometimes it does things that it's not supposed to do. I can only hope it doesn't rain. Um, I'll, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, in fact. I So I'm gonna go um, bring you guys along. The first thing I'm gonna do is the ranunculus, then we'll do some pruning. We'll see if I have any time after that. Um, if not, there'll be another video soon with a couple more things that need to get done in this key vegetable area. I might even add it to the end of this video. I don't know. The next couple of days are going to be interesting because it's a very, very busy time. You might occasionally see me flick something into this jar. In fact, you can already see that I have a couple victims. Um, I don't really think they are victims. I think I am a victim of Japanese beetles. I have um, a ton of Japanese beetles uh, right now. I also have a ton of um, earwigs. So I need to, I think I might be out of bait. I've got to go digging through my shed. And if I am, buy some more um, because they are just ruining my dahlias, which is a bummer, as well as a couple of other things that I'd rather they not. So um, you might occasionally see me flick something into this jar. Uh, it's either, it's a bug I want to kill, if that's the case. It's most likely a Japanese beetle, it might be a squash bug. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would explain that right up front. So let's go get you uh set up and we'll just kind of dive in i have a couple different tools i'm not sure what exactly i'm going to use but what i am going to do is carefully everywhere that they came up take the straw away and probably use this one a ways out to just kind of loosen the soil and bring the corn up uh and these are just going to get stored for next year just going to see if there's anything else in here oh yep Here's another one. These are all a similar mix. Um, so they are just gonna get snipped, the worst of the dirt taken off, and put on a tray that is gonna go inside. So these can be used next year, and then this debris is just gonna go into the yard waste bin. So let's get started. So now what I'm left with is a tray, then I'm just gonna go put this inside and let it dry out. And then I'm gonna stick them straight into a paper bag. I also have this passion mix ranunculus, so I know what tray it is. So I'm gonna 
go do this to the other ranunculus as well. Okay, it's quite humid, so I'm already sweating quite a lot. And I realized that my camera turned off, uh, so you didn't see me do the second lot, but it was a lot more successful from the first. This is the bridal mix ranunculus from Eden Brothers. And you can see a lot more actually came up and a lot more duplicated. I could not find the label for this, so I need to remember to make one, but this is also going inside. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is a quick check in here of the tomatoes before moving out into the main garden and doing some pruning there. Um, that you can kind of see behind me that I, they've already been tied up, but they could probably use a little extra support. So I'm gonna go put these inside and figure out a way to get you guys to see everything it might be kind of difficult and it's it might be sprinkling just the tiniest bit As you might be able to guess, it's actually the different day. Um, I got chatting with one of my neighbors and ran out of light, so I didn't even really get to finish showing you what I did. Um, I actually don't have a ton of time today. I probably have about 45 minutes of light left. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I did do and then do one other quick project uh, that's been made easier by the fact that we've had a ton of wind today as a kind of an update to this space. So. Let me share with you what I did manage to do and a couple really exciting things. Okay, so you probably saw from here and I don't know if it cut out at some point, but I did go pretty hard on the lower levels of these um, tomatoes. These are these three right here, all San Marzano's, um, taking a lot of the leaves out because it was very congested and it's just a breeding ground for bad, bad things. Uh, but I don't know if you can see right there that is a red tomato let's get closer oh look i even left my bucket right here i did do some of this weeding but not a lot not enough apparently but look at this okay oh i'm pretty sure those are squash bugs mating do you see them right there i'm pretty sure those are squash bugs mating but look this is opening this is some earwig damage so i'm going to get some bait out and bait right here i'm also going to see if i can cut this back and then uh, I think they just fell off. But if I see them again, I'll stick them in the in the watery death that they deserve. But look. Now, I don't know why these chose. I have a couple places where tomatoes, their first came out pretty, pretty low. So these are pretty low. Oh, shoot. Well, it's obviously not ripe, but it's on its way. So I'll just stick this on my counter. But isn't that exciting? I think that's exciting. There's a couple more. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but the other thing that I noticed is Do you see it? This is ripe, I believe. This one. Yep. This one is ripe. 
my first tomato. So this is the first tomato I've gotten this year. Probably could have been left a tiny bit longer. Mm. But pretty good. You might have seen as I walked in that this has um, fallen over. I was debating whether or not to take these out and I guess the wind made it easy because it's coming out. Um, I have to do some more deadheading. These just, they get like, they go from this right here, which you can't pick yet, to this, like so dang quick. Like I could probably pick this one, but it's been pollinated, so won't last long. But um, the other thing I want to point out, look over here, these beautiful dahlias. So exciting. There's some really, oh, I will come and kill him. Some really pretty ones in here, and there's some more that are looking like they're gonna open soon. The Crispidi is also like, I did harvest one the other day. This is looking good. The Celosia in general, I'm just so pleased with it because it's something I hadn't, wasn't sure if I was gonna plant. This one looks like just like a little brain. So pretty. I can't remember if this was in this video or a different video, but I did prune those tomatoes back there up as well. Look at this pretty bachelor button. So sweet. I don't have a ton of time, but I did take the ranunculus out the other day. So I'm gonna pull out these peas and it, uh, in a lot of the places, not all of them, but in a lot of them, I'm gonna stick um, bush beans and a couple um, runner beans just to see what happens from the time I got left this season. Um, I might sow some extra lettuce or salad greens as well because I don't have a ton uh, I have some that I need to actually harvest because it's going to be bolting soon. So I might add some more of that. Maybe some kale. Hmm. I also want to check my zinnias. I don't know how much of this I'm going to get to tonight. I'm going to try and get as much done as possible, but I'm running out of daylight. Okay, that didn't take much time at all. Which is great. I also just discovered I need to tie up uh, one tomato that blew around in the wind, so I'm gonna get that done. But I saw something really exciting that I wanted to share with you because I found some more fruit. Vanilla inside my my first kajari. Also, a really itty bitty one right there, which is exciting. This has been a little bit. Oh, and look, there's one right here too. It's kind of gone wherever it's wanted. I can't really control it. I have tried so I think this is probably the last year I'm going to be planting this here but for now we shall take this really long one honestly kind of impressive how long it is and see if I can do a one-handed alley-oop to help get it up it I mean these are really amazing right now it's all like all the back sides are down but it'll flip within a day or two which is fantastic oh and look more itty bitty babies and i got probably like i don't know 16 12 to 16 of the bush varieties planted so that's pretty good i'm gonna go get a big tub that i can pull these plants out and put them directly in a, a garden waste bag for the city to take away I cleared out um, the, the snow pea bed. I actually need to do some research before I decide what exactly is going back in that bed. 
uh, because I was gonna put Sydney's here, but I just looked at a seat packet and it said 75 to 90. So I need to rethink about what I'm gonna put there, but I, I did get some Blue Lake bush beans planted, uh, but I finished the seat packet I had and I couldn't find more immediately. So I'm gonna go inside and figure out what I can do, but it is getting quite dark. And I still have a couple things that I need to water before it's fully dark. So uh, let me show you. Able to, you can see that right there. Those are actually green onions that I was able to unearth. I think this looks a lot better, I have a lot better airflow. I also took out one of the kales that was here to give this rose some more space. I think I've got like a mini fence that I might put up to keep the kale off of it. Um, and I also took out the cauliflower because they were, they had finally formed heads, but they were already blooming because it's so warm, so let those go. Glad I was able to finish a couple projects in here um, and also kind of sew some other things that I've been meaning to do honestly for weeks. It's just been so hot that I have like an hour at the very end of the day to do stuff. I really should learn to wake up earlier, but if I'm being honest, I am not a morning person. Uh, so I only do that in like dire circumstances and it's not something that I'd ever probably film because I'm not even really awake. Maybe one day I will just to show you what I mean. But um, thanks so much for watching this bit of a mishmash of videos. Uh, hopefully these seeds will sprout quickly because it is warm uh, and we'll get uh, some beans before you even know it. Thanks again for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.